Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is, O oh, Bless the Lord. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth. O oh, bless the Lord, highest heavens above, bless the Lord, glorify his name. Sun in the day, moon and stars in the night, worship and praise. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth. Let all the earth sing with joy to the Lord, all the seas, creatures of the deep. Mountains and hills, birds and beasts in the fields, worship and praise. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather on this feast of St. Justin, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Ron Ryan. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who through the folly of the cross wonderfully taught St. Justin the martyr, the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ, grant us through his intercession that having rejected deception and error, we may become steadfast in the faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Tobit. At night, I, Tobit, tired from bearing the dead, washed myself and went into my courtyard and slept by the wall of the courtyard, and my face was uncovered because of the heat. I did not know that there were sparrows on the wall, their fresh droppings fell into my eyes and produced white films. I went to physicians to be healed, but the more they treated me with ointments, the more my vision was obscured by the white films until I became completely blind. At that time also, my, my wife Anna earned money as a weaver. She used to send what she made to the owners, and they would pay wages to her. One day, the seventh of Dystrus, when she cut off a piece she had woven and sent it to the owners, they paid her full wages and also gave her a young goat for a meal. When she returned to me, the goat began to bleat. So I called her and said, where did you get this goat? It is surely not stolen, is it? Return it to the owners, for we have no right to eat anything stolen. But she said to me, it was given to me as a gift in addition to my wages. But I did not believe her and told her to return it to the owners. I became flushed with anger against her over this. Then she replied to me, where are your acts of charity? Where are your righteous deeds? These things are known about you. Then with much grief and anguish of heart, I wept and with groaning began to pray the word of the Lord. The hearts of the just are secure, trusting in the Lord. The hearts of the just are secure, trusting in the Lord. Happy are those who fear the Lord, who greatly delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. 
The hearts of the just are secure, trusting in the Lord. They are not afraid of evil tidings. Their hearts are firm, secure in the Lord. Their hearts are steady. They will not be afraid. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. The hearts of the just are secure, trusting in the Lord. They have distributed freely. They have given to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their name is exalted in honor. The hearts of the just are secure, trusting in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we might see how great is the hope to which we are called. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Some Pharisees and some Herodians were sent to Jesus to trap him in what he said, and they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance and truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Should we pay them or should we not? But knowing their hypocrisy, Jesus said to them, why are you putting me to the test? Bring me a denarius and, I, and let me see it. And they brought one and then he said to them, whose head is this and whose title? They answered, the emperor's. Jesus said to them, give to the emperor the things that are the emperor's and to God the things that are God's. And they were utterly amazed at him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Authentic living, how important it is as a Catholic to live authentically in what we say and what we do. Tobit is challenged by his words and actions. Jesus is challenged. Ridiculous, of course, but is challenged. We are definitely challenged. When everyone's watching, do we make the right choice? When no one is watching, do we make the right choice? Should it matter whether we're being watched or not? There are many criteria of what makes a good Catholic citizen. Paying taxes, being a good neighbor, being kind to others. But am I doing this so that everyone around me will see me as righteous? Or am I doing it because Jesus calls me to do it? St. Justin the martyr spilled his blood because he was not interested in what others thought. He was interested in what God thought. We too need to be interested in what God thinks. I need to be authentic in what I say and do. No matter how frustrated I am, no matter how often I feel I get the short end of the stick, I need to live authentically if I want to be a true disciple of Christ. That's what it's all about. Jesus never promises rewards here on earth, though if we're honest, God is very gracious to us here on earth. But the glory is in the life that is to come, something that isn't fleeting, but rather eternal. Am I living a life here on earth to which God is proud of? My words, my actions, my behaviors. Or am I leading an inauthentic life? This is a very important question for us to ask for ourselves, not for others. What is our answer? Let us pray. With absolute trust in God, striving to live an authentic Christian witness each and every day, we turn to God with the needs of our world and for the needs of our hearts. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that God may grant him strength and grace he needs to lead and teach the faithful, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all government leaders. May the Holy Spirit guide them in focusing on justice, mercy, and the good of all, especially those who are most in need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for children who are awaiting adoption. May Christ move the hearts of loving families. In order to nurture and guide them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are gathered here physically and digitally. May God's merciful love strengthen and sanctify us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Ron Ryan, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they find eternal joy with God in their heavenly home, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. God, our Father, we entrust to you these needs, knowing that you desire all that is good for us. We offer these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. St. Justin, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries, which St. Justin strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Justin, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, He took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servant, Ronald, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Justin, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, Grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray, my Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Justin the Martyr, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Say, Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, Protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, 
and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth. Let all the nations on earth bless the Lord, for the Lord governs all the world. Let all the rulers on earth bless the Lord, worship and praise. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth. Let all the people on earth bless the Lord, young and old, glorify his name. Let every voice sing with joy to the Lord, glory and praise. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth. God bless you. Have a good day.